What's up guys? Morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're listening or watching to this. I just got back in from a nice dog walk, dropped the kids off at school, then I took the, the little monkey Layla for a walk. And uh, it's getting chilly, chilly out there, but it's all good because, yeah, we're heading to Australia January 1st. Looking forward to it, so I'm going to enjoy the winter while I can. Anyways, that's not what I'm talking about today. Today I want to talk about why new and exciting hurts your business. This is a lesson of how to learn the hard way. And um, let me start off by sharing with you a very dangerous question to ask or be asked. And I've made this mistake many, 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 many times in the past. Hey, so-and-so, what's new and exciting? Right? Like, have you ever asked that question or been asked that question? What's new and exciting in business? What's new and exciting? Right? The, the challenge, though, is that the answer to that question can be a very alarming indication of what's happening in someone's business. Here's one thing I've recognized in business is that if you have new and exciting going on all the time, your business is probably not going to be doing too well. And the reason I say that is because boring is the way to grow a successful business. And I know it doesn't sound sexy, right? It doesn't sound sexy. It's kind of like with health and fitness, what's new and exciting? What's like the new workout of the day, the new diet of the day? It's, it's not about that. It's about doing the fundamentals over and over and over again to the point where it sounds really monotonous and not sexy. And that's the truth. That is the truth, guys, is if you are running a business and you want it to do well, the secret to your success is doing the boring things over and over and over and over again. And the challenge is that our entrepreneurial creative mind is like, oh my God, let me create the next thing. Let me do the next thing. Let me jump onto the next thing. And you can do that, but don't be surprised when none of the things you do really ever take off, right? If you're straddling two or three different businesses or different ideas, you're going to have two or three mediocre businesses or two or three mediocre ideas. Let me give you a great example. So for my health and fitness business, way back in the day, I created probably hundreds of products, hundreds of funnels, and most of them did okay, mediocre at best. Why? Because I would set the thing up, I'd set the funnel up, we'd do a little launch or whatever, and we'd get a little you know, blip on the radar, and then we'd move on to the next one. And there was no deep dive in that one specific product or pipeline to go deeper and really maximize that to make that one idea as successful as possible. On the flip side, the most successful people I know, even from back in the day, they took one ebook, and to this day, they have one, maybe two, maybe three ebooks that they've built on top of the initial one. And that initial one was what they built their seven and eight figure business with. Same in a coaching program. Right, if you have, this is one of the big reasons why we recommend going niche is if you're serving everyone that comes in your door or virtually on the phone, you're spread too thin, right? You essentially have uh, a, a, an infinity amount of programs, right? Someone comes in IBS, you have an IBS thing. Someone comes with, with acne, you have an acne thing. Someone comes in with weight loss issues, you have a weight loss thing. And you can't build a successful business like that because there's no scalability. You are tied to everything, right? You become, it's like you attract stage five clingers, right? From wedding crashers, like your clients depend on you for everything because you haven't built a system around you to deliver predictable results to a single target market. So the reality is that if you do want to build a successful business, you got to do the boring things. Now, before you do the boring things, you have to identify what those boring things are, right? And that is kind of what we talked about in the last episode was this effectiveness idea, is, is knowing what to do, right? Because you can blog every single day. That can become very boring. I mean, if you enjoy writing, obviously it's enjoyable. But you know what, like what I'm saying is like doing the same thing over and over again. That's kind of what I mean by boring. You can blog every single day, but that's not really the most effective way to get clients, right? So first step is identify what it is that is necessary to achieve the results you want to achieve. And then when you know, when you've kind of figured out that equation, then it's just a matter of rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, as opposed to jumping onto the next thing and figuring that thing out and then jumping onto the next thing and on and on and on. Listen, I'm very privileged that my first company again, which was to the consumer, health, fitness, all that stuff, 
I'm very fortunate that you know it did very well, but I'm also very fortunate that we made a ton of mistakes, tons of mistakes. And from those experiences, I learned, I'm like, you know what? Sometimes the best role models are the negative ones. So that first business was a really good negative role model about what not to do in your business. Too much complexity, too many moving parts, way too much stuff going on. And when I started Healthpreneur like four and a half years ago, I said, so that, so what we just did for the past 10 years, I want to do nothing like that ever again, right? So that's all great because it's all, everything happens for us and it serves us. So from that experience, I learned, well, what if we simplified everything? What if we just kind of shortest path, simplest path, all that kind of stuff. And we figured out instead of doing a thousand different things at a mediocre level, why don't we just do one thing and do it really, really, really well? And that's what I committed to with Healthpreneur. And I think that's why it's been a lot more enjoyable. And, you know, we've created an amazing tribe and an amazing team and we work with amazing clients and, just, you know, it's, it's super awesome. So, yeah, I mean, I have not much more to add to that. It's really simple. Keep things boring, right? Stay to one path, do it, assuming that it's working well, and just keep going deep, right? Keep going deep because there's more and more opportunities if you go vertically deep than if you go horizontally wide with all sorts of new things. So if you're a creative person like I am, think to yourself, well, I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over and over, and over a thousand times. How can I be more creative in my existing one thing? How, and for me, what I, where I go with that is how do I become a little bit better in everything that we do? How do we improve our sales? How do we improve our client delivery? How do we, I mean, just yesterday we announced an updated, revamped, improved process for part of what we do with our clients. And that, go, that comes from thinking about how do we get them faster results? How do we get them unstuck? How do we move them forward? So instead of me creating another product or another offer, I'm thinking, how do I better serve my clients? And I use my creativity in that vein. And if you have a coaching program that you want to scale, then I would recommend you do the same because it'll it's just going to serve you, right? The reality is that the better your program is, the better your business is going to be because the easier it's going to be to deliver on your promises, you're going to have happier clients, and everything just becomes a whole lot easier, right? Anyways, um, that's all for today. I got some uh, a busy day ahead of me with some recordings and some stuff I got to do, so I'm going to jump, I'm going to bounce, and listen, if you want our help, if you want to be able to make your business just a little bit more boring <laughs> in a good way, in the sense of having a more predictable lead flow, having a more predictable way to get clients coming in, and having a more leveraged model to coach those clients and serve those clients without depending upon you trading time for money, then that's our gem, right? That's what we do all the time. Anyways, um, what I'd love to offer you is a free result accelerator call. We'll essentially do a 45 minute chat on the phone. We'll do a free business audit pretty much. We'll look at what's going on in your business, what is working, what isn't. We'll look at where you might be bleeding some money because I promise you every business is bleeding money. And we'll look at where the opportunities lie to help you grow to where you wanna go. And we'll put together a game plan specific for your situation. And you know, if you like what you see, then we can talk about next steps about help or having us help you deploy that to get faster results. Um, and if you're not interested in that, that's totally cool. We won't even discuss it. Cool. No pressure either way. We're here to serve you and we really want to help you win. And so that's why we offer this call for free. So if you want to grab a call today, go to workwithyuri.com. So that's workwithyuri.com. Uh, answer a few questions on the page with a bit more context for our conversation. And then from there, you can book in a time to speak with us. All right, sound good? So workwithyuri.com. Hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you in our next video, next episode, next podcast.